Hi guys, this is Julia from Just One More Card, and I'm back with my third and final video showcasing the Spellbinders Large Die of the Month kit for February. Um, if you haven't watched my previous two videos, this is the die kit. You get a ton of dies, um, everything you need to create a nice card for celebrations. And today I want to focus on this die here. This die gives you two hearts, a large heart and a small heart. Now there's one additional feature here. You can see that on the right, you have this um, really nice embossing of a smaller heart on top of the small heart die cut, basically. And that's what the opening in this die cut does, it embosses. And the left one isn't embossed yet. Now, here's how to do uh, the embossing with the Spellbinder dies. Um, you take the die cut, you fit it back into its die face down. So face down into the die. Then you grab the Spellbinders tan embossing mat, which comes with the machine. It's not an extra purchase. You can purchase it extra, but it already comes with the machine. And the embossing plate, which also comes with the machine. I was absolutely surprised. You get the machine, the Spellbinders machine. This is the Platinum 6 machine here that I'm using. And here you can see the embossing that you get. Um, so you get the machine. You get your standard, uh, you get your like base platform, you get your um, cutting plates, and then you get the embossing mat and the embossing plate. It's all in one set. That I absolutely love because for my Big Shot, I had to buy all the embossing stuff in addition. So I was very pleasantly surprised. Now, sorry, I've kind of jumped over stuff here. Um, I applied Wink of Stella on the small hearts just to make them glitter a bit. And now I'm going to color in this larger heart. And you could, you could see there, I already practiced it a little bit. Um, so I'm using my Copic markers here to do that. I have put that heart on a piece of uh, post-it tape just so it won't move around and it will be easier for me to color. And now I'm using several Copic colors, which I list on my blog, um, to color in this heart. And my goal is to show a lot of dimension. And I started out with a yellow and an orange color. So there will be some, uh, like the heart will have some warm tones because purple is a cold color. And I wanted this heart to have a little bit of a warm, subtle undertone. And that's why I started out with the um, orange and yellow. And then you can just use your purples and your pinks to darken up um, the heart as much as you like or, you know, as you prefer. You can see I keep going back in here. This, by the way, is Simon Says Stamp Heavy Ultra Heavy Cardstock. Again, all the supplies are listed in the video description below and on my blog until I have the shading for the heart that I like. And then I'm using a white gel pen to add some faux highlights here, just to add even more dimension to the heart. There we go. There we go. Okay, now for my card base, I have a standard A2 size card base, like US size A2. I applied a piece of pattern paper to the bottom, and sorry for my head getting in the way. Uh, th I have this, uh, I think it's a quarter inch, no, no, it's not a quarter, it's one eighth of an inch, um, double-sided adhesive tape, and I'm applying some um, antique silver, I think, it's listed. Um, Elizabeth Craft Designs glitter. And the reason for that is that the pattern paper um, catches the color of the heart, but the heart also has some warm tones. And this warm glitter is supposed to reflect the warm tones that we have on the heart as well. Now, uh, I've put the card base in my Misty, and now I'm trying to figure out where the sentiment's supposed to go. Should it go on the top or on the bottom or be like below the hearts? And I decided to do it below the hearts. Um, I've picked up the sentiment here, and I want I need I need to I need to mask off one single word because um, this stamp is supposed to be used with a different die um, that I'm obviously not using. So I needed to mask off this one word. That's what I did with the little piece of paper, and now I'm just stamping the sentiment right here. There we go, lifting it up. And oh, when I lifted it, I saw that it hadn't stamped perfectly, so I just pressed down once more, and now we have a perfectly stamped sentiment. I used my T-square ruler to help me align the heart so they would be in a straight line. This is a very clean and simple design, so it's important that everything is like straight and nothing is crooked because that will immediately um, like jump in your face. 
I use some very thin um, foam pads behind the hearts to adhere them here just for a little bit of dimension like the star of the show should be that one colored heart that really jumps out at you so I don't want to distract from it with anything I'm just enhancing the, um, the highlights here a little bit and then I'm coming back with my glossy accents and I'm, appearing the, I'm adhering them on top of each of the hearts. Um, I'm doing the purple heart last for the simple reason that I wanted to give the white gel pen some time to dry because uh, I didn't want it to run underneath the, the glossy accents. Um, also being very careful here so I don't have any glossy accents um, you know, basically dropping off the hearts onto the card base because that would also ruin the design. There we go, and I'm now going over the, the purple heart here. And as you can see, I mean, you can do literally anything with this design. You could make this a, a love you card, you can make this a like friendship card, and I decided to do a card that, you know, is, has some words of encouragement and, um, you know, because, you know, we do need those cards sometimes, and I feel that this really simple design lends itself to it. I'm using Tombow Mono to adhere some sequins from Pretty Pink Posh, and don't worry, this will dry absolutely clear, so you won't see the glue anymore once it's finished. But they have this beautiful um, dimension and shimmer from the glossy accents on the hearts now. Here's a close-up of the white heart and the, you know, that additional embossing that we did. It's very subtle, but it's just this little detail that really makes your card Perfect. Um, here's the close-up of the bigger heart. Again, this is all from the um, Large Die of the Month die set from Spellbinders. The, my last three videos featured that set exclusively. Here's a um, close-up of the entire card. I hope I could give you some inspiration um, about how to use the die set. Uh, please check out the Spellbinders website for more information. The link will be on my blog. And if you like this video, leave me a thumbs up and please subscribe because I have a lot more awesome videos to come. Cheers!